Jesus, you're still enough. Keep me within your love. My heart will sing your praise again. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. Oh, you've never failed me yet. Jesus, you've never failed us. You've never failed us. Yes, Jesus, you've never failed us. You've never failed us. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus.
who came this morning, but the message of, the, of God was so true and so powerful for me this morning. When Pastor Sam was saying that we need to be vessels, that we need to let the Holy Spirit use us, I confess sometimes I'm scared to be used, but I have experienced that I am talking to a person and I, and I express to them what the Lord has done in my life and I've seen the transaction in the person. And this song that we're going to sing says, when I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me, how he transformed me, and all because he loves me. I want you to think about these words as we sing it. Can you sing it with us? Because there are words that touch the heart and they come from deep within us for the Lord. When I think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up, He turned me around, how He placed solid ground it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise it makes me want to shout hallelujah Oh 
she said it so clear. Put your eyes on Jesus. Amen. 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 This next song we're going to sing. Thank you, Whitney. He saw the best in me. God bless you, everybody. I just want to say that, honestly, I'm super thankful uh, for this church, uh, all the awesome friendships I've made in the time I've been here. This place, this city's full with amazing people. Super blessed, and I just want to say that my family's super thankful for the welcoming I've had and, and the time we've been here. <laughs> this song is, is super meaningful to me because it says that even though we're not perfect and we fail and we don't get it right, God always sees the best in us. God always gives us that chance for redemption. And I'm so thankful for his love. And I'm just going to ask you all to help me with this song. It's the best in me.
Give God a loud clap. He always sees the best in us. Thank you, God, for being a merciful and great God, Father God. Thank you so much for being in this place. There's an old hymn that says, I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name.
Amén. Puede tomar su lugar. Vamos a cantar un canto más. Y luego enseguida tenemos otros, otros más. Pero mientras que estamos cantando, usted puede adorar al Señor con este canto. Habla bien bonito las palabras. Estar contigo es todo lo que quiero, Señor. Es todo lo que quiero hacer. Estar con el Señor. Si ahí en ese lugar donde tú estás, si estás ahí right en your, in your seat and you feel like you just need to pray for a moment, you want to turn around in your bench and pray while we worship, or come to the altar while we worship with this song. It says, All I want to do is be in your presence. It's in Spanish. That's what it talks about. Because God has been faithful. How many can say amen? God has been faithful to us. Me has quebrantado, escucha, una y otra vez me siento olvidado, como si no me ves y cuando te amo, lo único que puedo hacer es esperar. A veces es lo único que podemos hacer. Me ha sostenido. Una y otra vez. Que conmigo. Y sigue siendo fiel. Sigue siendo fiel. Es por tu palabra. Que no.
Señor gracias a Dios por su fidelidad Amen Sister Esther the next two songs beautiful songs she's going to lead us in these two songs your spirit God Amen if you want to continue to stand if you want to just come and continue to worship up here the altar is open these songs are powerful church Bye. 
todo este lugar que tu presencia llene todo este altar lléname lléname
is going to transform a lot of lives. Lo que dice esta escritura cuando terminamos de orar, el Espíritu Santo transforma vidas. So come up, I invite you, te invito. Venga, venga para adelante, come up. Yo sé que nuestros pies nos duelen. I know that some of our feet hurt, but on the way up, we're going to believe in healing. Amen? Come on. I can wait here all night. Yo me puedo esperar toda la noche. I have dinner waiting. Yo tengo la cena hasta que está aquí allá. Y si se pone fría, I'll stick it in the microwave. You know what I mean? Come up. Todos para adelante. Everybody is welcome up here to experience what God is about to tell all these people. Come up. Because I feel my spirit, your sense of spirit, que uno de ustedes, some of you, maybe one of you, came today as a last chance opportunity. Como una oportunidad ya última. Si Dios no me ve en mi vida hoy, yo me voy a quitar mi vida. God, if you don't move tonight, I might take my life chance. I'm here to tell you, whoever you are, God loves you. He wants you. He has a plan for you, and your life is worth His Son, Jesus Christ's life. Thank you, Jesus. And you too can be filled with the Spirit of God. This is what Scripture says. La Biblia dice esto. After this prayer, después de esta oración, the place where they were meeting shook. El lugar donde estaban se puso temblar. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Y fueron llenos del Espíritu Santo. Y después de eso, and after that, they went and preached the Word of God with boldness. Después de esto, predicaron la Palabra de Dios. Sin the Santo, He fills you with the Holy Spirit. You have boldness. Y luego ya no tienes temor. Ya puedes caminar en autoridad. You can walk in authority. Dominion over all things. En dominio sobre todas las cosas. Porque el poder del Espíritu Santo. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Lives within you. Vive en medio de ti. So agarra la, la mano de la persona. De ti. Hold the person hand next to you. Worship team, I'm going to invite you to do the same. No music. Let's just, between us and God, our voices, our hearts, and God. And we're going to pray. Y vamos a orar. Y este lugar va a temblar. And this place is going to begin to shake. And it's okay. That's just the Holy Spirit. Don't get scared. And then we're going to go out and preach boldly the word. Amen? Y luego vamos a predicar la palabra de Dios. So yo voy a empezar, I'm going to start, and I'm going to allow you guys and the Holy Spirit to finish, amen? Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you have done here tonight. We pray that as we have received your Spirit, that you begin to move in our lives in such a way where we begin, God, to preach your word with boldness, without fear, that we live out, God, what you have called us, and that is blessed, victorious, righteous, graceful, merciful, kind, peaceful, gentle, self-controlled, God, filled with your Holy Spirit. So come and move amongst us. If you're speaking in tongues, and speak in tongues. If you have not received tongues and you want to, start asking God and the utterance of tongues will come upon you. That's what scripture promises. So for the next few moments, it's you and God and you and your neighbor and we're just going to pray and allow the Holy Spirit to move, allow the Holy Spirit to counsel, allow the Holy Spirit to comfort, allow the Holy Spirit to heal, allow the Holy Spirit to provide, allow the Holy Spirit to bring life in the midst of what seems dead. And let it be said that on March 1st at 7 15 p.m. 2020 revival started in Othello, Washington.
Get my 